I was an apprenticeship, he had just come out of college. We had to work with the materials that we could. We, the, the funds were scarce. But design and ideas and innovation weren't. So what we did was we put all our ideas and used what we had, which was craft, design, innovation, bravery. We put those elements and used materials that we could. So in the early days it was silver and I worked in brass and aluminiums to create the things we did. So every piece had its own secret little mechanism of how it was attached to the girl. For example, the moon headdress was basically shaped in the moon crescent and there was a section missing, but it had a bar around the back which literally just clipped to the back of the girl's neck. So you, if you remember when you were a kid in those little joke shops, you had the nail that went through your hand and you had the little bar that went around there. It's exactly the same simple idea, but it was just around the neck. With a lot of these pieces, there was a weight to them. So I had to work very closely with the hairdressers on set because sometimes we would have to plait the girl's hair so we could pin through the plait so the pieces would stay in position. Everything we did was never straightforward. It was never simple. Some of the things that we created visually were breathtaking, but it wasn't just the product that I had created, it was the optical illusion how we got these pieces onto the girl, kept them onto the model throughout the show, that created the illusion and the whole look and the, the grandeur of that presence, I suppose. <laughs>